Hello there you beautiful people, I'm back and this time I'm reviewing the beautiful, the magnificent, perfect great RX-178 MK2 Gundam. Oh my god, this is a beautiful, a gigantic, because it's a perfect great uh, build. And I went all out, ladies and gentlemen. I painted every single thing in this uh, kit, except some uh, some of the inner frame. I left it as it is, but everything else it's painted and customized. So stay tuned and let's check out the unboxing. Look at that beautiful box, look at that illustration, so huge, this is one of the biggest boxes I have ever seen, no pun intended. On the sides you can see the inner frame and the different stages of the kit. Look at that beautiful lettering, on the proper light that lettering shines really really nicely. You can see different information in Japanese on the other sides. Perfect great MK2 and that beautiful illustration on the front. I mean this box it's beautiful. Let's check out what's inside. Look at all these glorious high quality plastic. And you can see three sections here. We'll start with the first section and we have that beautiful chrome. I have never seen such beautiful chrome before. This kit was released in 2001, by the way. So far back, 23 years back and still it's high quality, it's unmatched. And look at that beautiful white plastic, that beautiful black plastic. Everything is high quality. The only grudge that I have is that the plastic is ABS, so I could not use enamel based uh, panel liner, but what can you do? That's not a big deal. So, you have the inner frame over here, very beautiful, very nicely packed. And this is the instruction manual. You have two types of manuals. This is the instruction manual, which you can see the deco map over here. You can see different kinds of gimmicks. Uh, it shows you what this kit can do and it can do a lot of things, a lot of little gimmicks, a lot of uh, little motions and movements and you can see some lore over here a lot of information in Japanese by the way uh, but uh, you can translate it if you really want you can see statistics here, you can see when and how it was built and what uh, this unit can do really nice really beautiful instruction manual i was impressed and on the other side we have some black plastic for the shield some of the inner frame nice gray plastic one tone of white in this kit but uh, i had some paint so i painted two tones of white in some parts uh, most of the white I painted pearl white you'll see that later so you have some more black and when you uh, unveil the middle part over here you see more of that beautiful plastic which contains some of the inner frame some of the ammo pack that uh, beautiful orange yellow that I ended up painted painting gold, I painted this red, uh, metallic red also, some more white of the skirt. There are a lot of runners in this kit. And at the end you find uh, the waist, uh, waist part, some uh, screws, you have a lot of screws that you have to put in this kit. You, you see the lighting kit that they have, it lights up the head and the chest. And this is the normal manual, you see how much detailed it is. Some, uh, it has uh, some black and white pictures inside to show you how everything works. 
I had no zero complaints here. Everything was detailed. Everything was really nice, instructed, really nice, uh, with the nice diagrams, and everything was perfect. I have to say. And here is a small part where I'm building the feet and you can see the pistons. The pistons were really, really beautiful. Uh, the copper part is painted. I painted that copper that you see over there. It came up, came up really nice. And you, you can see all the different pistons and uh, thingamajigs that uh, contains uh, the feet. But you ended, uh, you end up covering that uh, pi these pistons with the plastic, which I also painted metallic blue, and it looks amazing. You can kind of see the pistons, but not so much. So you ended, uh, you end up covering all that nice detail. But what can you do? And you can see the spring mechanism that it has in the knees. How beautiful is that? Look at that spring. Here's another view of the same foot, but this time completed leg. And you can see once more the spring mechanism in the leg, which I have never seen in any other kids so far. Really nice details, really beautiful. I was really amazed by that uh, perfect grade. Really beautiful. Here's once more on the sides with the gold details that I painted. Those thrusters were a little bit a hassle to build because of the little vents over there. They are little separate vents and it was a little bit tricky to put uh, all together. But at the end it came up really, really nicely. That painted gold, that painted copper everything came up beautiful and here's the chest i painted the chest in glacial blue and uh, matte gold and it, and some silver details and metallic red and it came up so beautiful as you can see such a nice shine such nice detailing and you see the copper from uh, below I mean, it looks so beautiful. I don't know, is it me or it looks awesome? Here's a little bit more of the chest with all the pistons attached. And you can see how the waist moves in every uh, little direction or so organic. Uh, it can do belly dancing if you want. On the sides, those pistons look amazing, by the way. I mean, this kid blow me away. It was really easy to build too. And look at those pistons on the arms, on the armpits. So beautiful. It, it looks like a real robot, like a real mecha. Here's on the other side. I also painted the frame uh, graphite, uh, metallic graphite, gray. And, and these are the decals, the stickers uh, that you get with the kit. So I didn't want that sticker, so I went and uh, bought uh, some water slides. Because the stickers on this perfect grade would, would be a shame to put them on. They don't look very nice. Uh, so I went and I bought these beautiful water slides. You can see the outline of the stickers there. So th that's why I bought the water slides. And here's the finished build with the two-tone white, with the metallic uh, details, with uh, the paint, uh, with the pose. This is one amazing Gundam. This is one amazing perfect grade. And I really like how it came up. Look at that beautiful water slides, the pose, the colors, the bulkiness. It's uh, such a... Uh, hunky boy such a big boy and here's a close-up look you can see all the small details look at that beautiful face I really like his face all the small water slides they came up amazing the stickers would be very awful on this kit so good thing that I bought the water slides 
on the side and look how beautiful it came up really majestic let's check out some articulation the foot moves left and right nice movement there you can see the pistons on the foot how when you move the foot you move the pistons too really beautiful front and back and the back part also move you can see the the gold details on the back how beautiful they move very nice very beautiful the foot uh, on the front doesn't doesn't move that much but you can see uh, also the pistons from the inside the spring mechanism once again works really nice on the sides you can open this panel to reveal some detail really beautiful you can separately move that front panel too so it looks even better with the gold detail details that i painted over there really beautiful and you can close that up on the other side you can also open the hatch it also uh, has two points of articulation you can see also the gold detailed inside that i painted really beautiful and you can push that back right in and it goes up and down really nice and that blue detail uh, on the vents really beautiful and this is one of the best knee bends that I have ever seen on a kit. It bends all the way back. And look at that three points articulation on the knees over there. Thigh, knees and the lower part. Very beautiful. That's the blue bluish inner frame that it has. It looked nice so I didn't paint it never mind that skirt part look at that beautiful knee bend holy shit i really liked it this kit for a perfect grade it has great articulation one of the best articulation that i have ever seen and it's a, such an old kit. It's a 23 year old kit, guys. The side skirts move up and down. And the front skirts also move. These are perfect great hands. Each individual part move on itself. Look at that beautiful painted uh fingers over there each fingers has a three point of articulation and you can easily uh, pose them really beautiful hand really beautiful fingers really beautifully made i mean i was really amazed but but this kid the front part of the hands of these hatches on the hand open up but for me they were stuck from for some reason so i left them as they are the hatch on the front it opens up and reveals the cockpit with the pilot inside and the cockpit it's uh, lit up by a green light really beautiful you can see with dim lights how beautiful that uh, lighting looks inside really nicely made with the pilot sitting cozy inside and you can see those beautiful big yellow eyes shining through that beautiful face really nice 
Look at that cute face. Look at that ominous, beautiful face. I really like that face. The hedge can close up back up. That these front panels open up and reveal some uh, tubing and some details that I painted silver and metallic red. Really beautiful. Some nice hatch uh, movement over there. Beautifully made. The sides of the head can move. Oh, I accidentally uh, turned on the lights there. The sides on the helmet on the head can uh, open up like that. Some uh, nice detail and they can close up back. And that part on the top can open up a little bit too. Really nice detail. And on the back you can see those gold chains, those uh, this gold tubing. And it moves a little bit when you move the legs too. Really nicely made. That back part opens up and you can store your bazooka in there. So you don't have to have all the weapons in your hands. The thrusters go back out and in some small nice, nice articulation you can pull them out or you can uh, shove them in if you like that's the switch for the lights nicely hidden over there and you can see these parts move a little bit too some nice detail over there and once again this gold tubing I really like that really beautiful and that graphite that I painted really graphite paint that I painted really nice. We also have some ab movement front and back, left and right. You can see the pistons on the side there picking uh, from inside. Really nice movement. Not too much but enough. You can attach your rifle on the side of the skirt like that and it looks really nice really cowboy like like he's gonna pull that weapon and he's gonna kill you i like that very much that you can store the your weapons on the side and this is the rifle look how beautiful it is i painted the top part white and everything else in graphite silver and it looks so beautiful I left that uh, blue part as it is and this is the ammo pack that you can attach beneath the weapon over there like that really nice I really like how this rifle uh, looks and with the painted white part looks amazing that part goes uh, in and out really beautiful rifle I have to say I really like it Next up we have the beam sabers which I didn't use because they look silly. I don't like how they look. They huge first of all and come on we, we are past of uh, the beam uh, saber things. And this is the beautiful bazooka. Look how beautiful the bazooka looks. I painted that uh, glacial blue over there, that graphite gray and look how beautiful it is the that front part moves up and down that silver part painted on the front look how beautiful that glacial blue is oh my god how this is the most beautiful bazooka that i have ever seen beautiful weapon and we have the most amazing shield ever that beautiful uh, gold on the sides and that beautiful metallic blue that I painted came up amazing and with the water slides it's amazing and look at that you can push it in and it can hide 
it can fold into a smaller shield. Isn't that amazing? And you have two ammo packs uh, also on the back of it. And if you want, you can turn that part like that and it comes back uh, up like nothing happened. Isn't that beautiful? This is the most beautiful shield that I have ever seen. And this part attaches to your arm on the sides. I mean, come on, guys. Isn't that the best shield ever? And you have that small window on the front. Beautiful, really nice. And this is the radio headset uh, thingy. Look, I painted all the small parts. The, the antenna moves a little bit. The speakers move a little bit front and back. The whole thing's, thing has a nice articulation. And you can attach that uh, radio thingy on the head. And looks beautiful like that. Look at that. And look at that. You can listen to metal music all day. Look how beautiful that looks. Really nicely done. This little part goes on the ammo pack on the bazooka. You can take out the bazooka and attach it if you want. Like that. You also get extra little figures of some spacemen. That uh, last figure is a little bit goofy. And you have two other one normal figures that have some spacesuit on them and they are on a pose. I don't understand why. And these are some extra parts that it gives you some polycaps, some extra little small parts that you are left with. Nothing much. And here's a size comparison comparison between my PG Unleashed and the MK2. I think the MK2 is a little bit bulkier and taller but the Perfect Great Unleashed, it has a lot more details, of course. The Perfect Great Unleashed, it looks uh, a little bit cooler, but it's a newer kit, so makes sense. But uh, the MK2 looks amazing, nonetheless. Here's a size comparison between a high grade and a master grade size. You can see how small it is the, the high grade compared to the perfect grade. Look at that size comparison. These robots, these kids, these mechas are huge! And there you have it, you cheeky monkeys. That was the complete review of that beautiful, beautiful kit. Uh, it's really big, it's bulky, it's a little bit expensive. I paid 170 euros for this kit but it it's worth every penny i think it's really big really beautiful and it came uh this beautiful because i put some work in it if you uh, i painted uh, almost the whole kit with the metallic pearl white uh, the metallic red uh, gold uh, glacial blue navy blue I mean, all the little parts that I painted, the two parts of uh, white that I painted, I did a lot of work on this kit uh, with the panel lining, with the water slides. So that's why it, it came up so nicely. Uh, if you buy it as it is and do a straight build on it, it's not gonna look that nice. It's gonna look like this. Which uh, is not that bad, but why look this when you can look like this? So if you have the money, buy it. This is a must-have build, so you can show that beautiful, magnificent figure, figure on your nice shelf, on your nice disp display, and it really, really looks majestic uh, up close. You can buy it and put some work in it and make it look amazing. This was a really, really smooth and beautiful build. And I'm glad to have experienced 
uh, the RX 170A MK2 perfect grade from Bandai. So, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the review. Uh, it took a lot of time of my schedule. Uh, I work once more a full-time job and I <laughs> I'm really really working hard to upload uh, videos for you guys so like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want and see you on the next uh, build which is a third-party build but it's so beautiful that you'll be amazed I'm not gonna spoil anything else. So stay tuned. See you guys. Bye.